Uh, welcome back to Spear, episode 40, well, 40, episode 40, season 3, session 12, the Kilika facility versus the party. Last time, you found your way into the old Kilika manufacturing facility and possibly allowed children to find a way into the facility as well. It was very difficult to break into the doors of the facility, and what was more shocking is there was still power running to the facility. Over the course of several days of rewiring and much cursing, Chisaki was able to open the doors and restore some of the power to the facility. Being in the facility, however, you did not know what effects it had on the facility that were still above ground that was still in the middle of the town of Kilika. While stumbling around, you definitely found this place had seen its time of being partially underwater for a time. Also, some of the machines were still intact. Upon examination of these machines, they had green glow to them, but after firing magic at them, that green glow went to a red glow, and they started attacking back. You didn't know until the next room that the flashing strobe light that was going on above your heads, uh, probably to alert uh, workers of uh, a break-in, is uh, a warning system now only alerts robots that they are under attack. Today, killer robots are on the rampage looking to take you out and finish building whatever that is that they started building a long time ago. And now, the party. Uh, hello, party. Hello. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe if I sit up. All right, now. Yeah. All right, go ahead and I guess start leading. And I will start opening. So we're just clearing rooms, weren't we? Yeah, yeah I think so. What's in here? Uh, large amounts of debris and human remains of the uh, well, people remain of this place. Scrap metal and twisted uh, lines across the um, the walls signifies that fiends might have attacked uh, people in here at one point, but there is no sign of fiends anymore. The, the the marks on the walls are definitely walls. Wow, that's comforting. Nothing says cozy like claw marks on the walls. Nope. What's in here? Over here. In there appears to be a closet. Okay. Upon opening it, you see a withered um, skeleton in there with its skin intact and still wearing partly clo part clothing. You think that um, at one point uh, he was cowering in there and died from right yeah oh, I guess he's gonna stay in the closet forever then because I'm curious enough is there anything identifying left yep he does have a card on him but it is very fragile all right yeah 
will say, but it's a question of exactly how our S1's been. Yeah, fair enough. We'll just leave them all out then. Maybe if the facility's safe, they can. If you have a night, it's gonna do that whole ritual thing. If it's even necessary, I can't really remember anymore exactly how long that worked. Okay. Moving right along. What's behind door number two? Behind door number two is room number three. Lines of desks uh, are all over this place. Old, busted, what appears to be computers lay on these desks. Papers everywhere. Nothing's in order. It appears that somebody left here in a hurry. But it is very humid in this room, too. You guys want to open the other two doors and see what happens beyond them? Or you want to keep going through number Uh, let's get the other doors while we're in here. Yeah, might as well. That'll try and be the setting the fog hole down it. Okay, this door is locked. Surprisingly, this door is indeed locked. Hmm. Is it a mechanical lock or an electrical one? An electrical one. Interesting. Oh, uh, Wado. No, wait, that was another campaign. But that's not the point. Is it a card thing? Or is it like a key word? Card. Keypad, that's the word. I say keyboard makes you think of something else. Um. Hmm. I suppose because I asked about the body, um, is the size of the card reader thing? Why would I think they're equivalent? Yes. Okay. Probably not really sturdy enough to actually run through it directly. So, I can make a copy. You know, if that's even possible. We'll try the other door first. Much faster than me trying to make something. This door also will. Oh yeah, this door also appears to be locked. Is it the same deal? Or... It does seem appear to have a card reader, but there is power going to it. Okay. Think we ought to try getting the card off that corpse back there. What's left of it? There's other ways you can do stuff too. Did yeah. it have a card? So I'm not I'm sure if the card would be 
rigid enough to really run through it, but... Mm, true. There's a couple of options to try to get through these doors. Or we can try the other doors in the other room. Since these doors will probably stay locked, at least. Oh, we have some weird backing up here, shit. Yeah, we can always come back and see if we can get in another way. Yeah, that might be where we start from now. I suppose just in case, um, Chisaki is going to go and recover the card essentially, and just kind of put it on like a back, you know, like a metal backing kind of thing. Okay. So you know, but just give it some rigidity, so it stores a bit safer and what have you. And then yeah, I suppose we're moving on to the next room. While I ponder this. Um, one of these three, I suppose. Start with this one. That door is... Well, it's locked, but the um, card key is crumpled. There's just wires hanging out. Oh. Yeah, that, that was his own option. That might just be able to take the front plate off and, you know, jerry rig it open. Obviously, if that goes wrong, then, you know, it's kind of broken. broken. Yeah, what are the other two doors like? Uh, this door is locked. Uh, the right side door is locked. And the other one says pressurized locked. Hmm. Although it's being pressurized might mean that whatever is beyond it has been kept in better condition than the rest of the place. Assuming it's still actually pressurized and it's not a false reading or something. Um, okay. Let's start with this door over here then, since the panel's already off. Alright. I suppose if I'm gonna try and Jerry rig anything open. We might as well start with the one that's already a bit broken. Just a smudge. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is a repair or if it's a disabled device. I've never been entirely sure what it's like electrical blocks in you know, these systems. This would be a disabled device. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that will unlock the door. Alright. First thing you notice is it decompressurizes and air just starts flowing towards you. Stagnant air. Hmm. Okay, so. Again, that's interesting. Just, just make sure um, 
pressurized room still. And also, there's some robots in here. Okay. Shiny ones. There's supposed to be more of a delay in that, but apparently it just went right to the... Well, the music. Yeah, the music. Uh, okay, Chisaki, what is your dexterity score? Uh, the actual score is 18. Okay, I've got a 22. Alright. She said she has a phone call. Oh. I think she's back. Oh, she might be sad, or she might be talking on the phone. Oh, that's true. Um... Detoy. I have it for one session and then it's gone. Oh well. Wadu, you are up first. guy up here. Okay. You beat it by 30. 
Dust Dragoon thing. I think that means I get all my deadly lantern dead. Nice. And you hit a shield. Uh oh. So let's see what your damage is. Uh, we're not doing yellow dragon kills. Did I cut up with part of that? What's that? Sorry. Did I cut out when part of that sentence? No. Okay, good. Good. Alright, uh, Chisaki, it is your turn. Um, shield. I'm curious exactly what, what you meant by that. Like, are they holding the physical shield? Or? No, it's like, a Like, a An energy shield around them. Hmm. Okay. Like a force field. Oh, that's interesting. Different. Um... Let's we'll go with the concept of trying to overload it. Where is... Oh, there it is. I feel like that should be the water, can't it? <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna use um, one of my enhancement points to add shot. This, so. Um. Bit another go about it. Plus, I'll try a shot out on both, and then like an extra shot on this one. Okay. Let's... Cool. Okay. Well, you can't crit the shield. If that's it's funny though. Oh wait, you can crit the shield. Yes, you can. All right. Twenty-four. Uh, clip shock. I'm not sure if that's straight D six. Yeah, it should be a straight D. It's not multiplied on crit. Okay. Um, um, yeah, okay. It's a D6 of shock, right? Yeah, D6 of shock. Okay. So, we should throw that on, on the end. Alright, oh. six of uh, that. So that's on that one, I suppose. Yep, shield's still up. Um, it's okay. flickering a butt. What's that? No, I was just rolling the next attack for the one on the bottom. Alright. Uh, that hits, and the shield is uh, penetrated. Or, well, it the shield is uh, one line that you can see now. Yep, that's fair enough. And I'll put the last shot in with the one that Wadu's fighting. So it's this roll minus five. Okay, well that was good. Okay. That wasn't all lucky. I mean, it was on the worst shot, I suppose, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, I know the least likely shot to hit, shall I say. Yuki, it is your turn. I'll shoot that one there. This one down here? Yep. Oh, 
once. Twice. Three times. No, I don't think that's Gina. And then... That... It is in the right lane. Have Bone Warrior, do a rush. The shield breaks on him so now you're you're shooting him regularly so um, warrior is going to do he sucks yeah he sucks Uh, he tried. <laughs> well, it's their turn. Goodbye, Bone Warrior. As part of an integrated attack, it's going to slam Bone Warrior twice and then shoot him with a laser rifle. That does not provoke. Integrated phrase relief rifle. So the first one. That is uh 37 the hit. It's second. That is uh 32 to hit, and his right laser rifle is a net one. Twenty-two damage to the Bone Warrior. That just hurt all over. Well, I do. Yes. Its chest opens up. And you see something blue in there. Make a reflex save. Alright. Let's see, you're, you're that level, you have evasion. Take quarter damage. Sixteen, seventeen... No, 16, 19, 4, 4, 4, 4. Take 4 damage. We're being point blank. We're being point blank. Actually, I guess eye damage would be a lot more than 4. Oh, it wasn't a reflex save, it was a fortitude save. My mistake. But, what was what was the roll? It was a 14, it's uh, a fine. 14, so the result would be 30. That's fine. Well, I do, it is your turn. Uh, let me hop over to my items tab, because I am going to use around my boots of speed. And I will... Spend a key point. There it is. To activate flowing water strike. And we're gonna power attack. Go all out. Oh no. That's a lot of what? That's a lot of twos. And it feels hard to hit it, or to deal damage to it. Oh wow, I just realized your attacks. 
Yeah, it's not very good. But I do get two water damage. I'm assuming there was 18 zone. I have to uh, subtract 15. I'll deal 22, 24 damage. Okay, its shield is down now. Okay. Chisaki! And then have some shots. So. One. Do not know if that's good enough. Uh. Yeah, that hit. Up. Okay. Um, that's two. you're you're hitting the top one first. Um, this one. Okay. I'm just shooting them all at this one until it dies. Does remind me. Um, actually, no, it's kind of show a difference. So. There we go. All three shots. Looks like it took some damage. Extra seven lightning overall. And in case it makes a difference, I'm ignoring. Is it? Three, yeah, three. I'm ignoring eight, no, six points of hardness. Six points of hardness? Slash damage reduction, so I don't know if it's got either. Alright, you dealt more damage to it. Okay. It's like six per shot. Yuki, it is your turn. Yuki. Okay. Bunny butt is gonna try and whack him one more time. He hits. A little better that time. And once more on the same one. Again. Oof. Better. Alright, that's me. I did all the damage I can do. Tell me how. It's still up. Ah, why didn't you go down? I like the Terminator. They don't know when to quit. Eef, this is this is disgusting. Oh well, let's see what it does. I'm gonna roll a d4. Four. Uh, let's see here. An ex ability shoots four rockets out of its back. Oh, I'm sorry, it's labeled missiles. 
One, two, three, four. Saki. Oh, missiles. Skeleton. Robot Wadu. And skeleton. Oh, that's even worse. Okay, it's in it's fortitude for the ones in the middle. Okay, let's start with Wadu first. Okay, fort. Fortitude for Wadu. All right, so you take half damage. Five, ten, twenty-two. Take eleven damage. We'll do the rockets first, and then everybody within thirty feet of them for the waves for reflexes. Unless you're within. Oh God, these two. Uh, Chisaki. Right. Give me a fortitude save. All right, you take half. 5, 10, 19, so you take 9 damage. Bone Warrior, I need two Fortitude saves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Half and full. And Well, better than nothing. 10... 21, so it takes uh, 10 damage. Okay. And then it takes 10, 26 damage. Ew. So let's start with a uh, skeleton warrior. Wadu, make two reflex saves. You're fine. Oh man, really? Chisaki, make a re two reflex saves. Okay. Just check. Yeah, you're not within uh, 15 feet of it immediately, so uh, you don't take any immediate damage. You're able to um, evade out of it. Evasion, so you're you're good. So in the next one, and you're good on the other one. All right, I need a reflex save on the skeleton warrior for Wadu. A reflex save on the bone warrior from Wadu's missile. Alright. Uh, Bone Warrior takes nine. Ow. And, uh. Just, uh, Yuki. Make a fortitude save. You take exactly what Shisaki took when he didn't save. So, I think that was, uh. How much damage did you take before? Um, I took nine. I think you rolled nine. Take nineteen damage, Yuki. Okay. And Bone Warrior is going to get attacked again. Punch, miss. Uh, does a twenty-four actually hit um, Bone Warrior? For touch. No, for regular AC. Oh yeah. 
Sorry. No, you're not. Hit. <laughs> and laser is a natural 20, confirming with a 29 touch. Oh, Bone Warrior's dead. Hold on. You don't know that. But yes, he is. 16, 32, 33 damage. He already ran out of hit points. Now you're just pulverizing the carcass. Oh, well, then he's going to uh, shoot. <laughs> well, you instead. <laughs> Does a 33 to hit you confirm, dear? Yes. Oh, I rolled two tens. Roll again. An eight and a five. Take 33 fire damage. Ow. Well, I do. It is your turn. I will continue my haste. Uh, that last one kind of sucked, so I'm going to spend another key point on flowing water strike water damage on each of these. Alright, now you're actually going to hit it. Yeah, we're going to not power attack this time. Oh, baby. You crit. You crit. You miss. You hit. You hit. But now it feels like you're hitting um, a rock. That's 11 water damage on top of all that. Alright, I just need to do damage. 25. 31. 38. 49. Shisaki, it is your turn. <clears throat> yeah, I suppose I don't know. I don't know rocket thing is going to go again. I'm at least five foot. And I'm going to put another three into this one. And spend a grip point again. A bit mm -hmm. That hits. One. That hits. That knocks it. That kills it. Alright. I get that grip point back. <laughs> but yeah, that's just after it's done. Yuki! It is your turn now. <clears throat> of completeness. Oh, wow. That would have actually been really good from the damage. <laughs> Alright. Let's shoot the last one standing. And twelve. Ooh. You're jammed. I know, I got quick clear, so I'll be good. It's a free uh so I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, if you didn't spend all your stuff on it. Do you have three or four attacks? I have three. Okay. Somebody kill that thing before it kills us all. Now it's gonna punch Wadu. Whoa! Uh, that's a... Uh, that's a 37 to punch Wadu. That hits. That's a uh, 38 to hit Wadu. That hits. And then its laser comes out and uh, barbecues Wadu for 16, 23 touch. That misses. Oh, it's 23 touch? Yeah, my touch is 25. Nine. Yeah, that's, that's the monkey kind of thing. Take 25 damage overall. 
That's right. Make the DM work for it. Why well, do? It is now your turn. Uh, let's see. We will continue. We'll continue haste. Probably gonna be the last round of it, though. Uh, we're not gonna do flowing water strike this time. We're just gonna power attack. Thirteen. Twenty-seven. Huh. Forty damage. Nice. Chisaki. Right. That's not another. Now I'm just gonna shoot it with the right or left son. One. Three. Done. Hmm? You're done. Well, Chisaki, you hold everybody's life in your hands, remember? Yeah. After all, you're the one that kills people. Yeah. Guns don't kill people, I kill people. Yeah, but we don't have a healer right now. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but it's, we're not quite that, like, out of, the, out of our depth. You say that, but you have potions and stuff. Where is it? There it is. In this room, it, besides two broken robots, is a well a well kept manufacturing room uh, for machine parts. Uh, other other than there being slight rust on the machines, everything still looks like it's in working order and, and dusty. Wado well, would like to drink. Uh, we can do at least one triage. High... Oh, all right, yeah. All Just because right. I have that as an option. You would like to drink a triage. I understand. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can apply that to everyone. And then... I know someone might need a bit more healing. Um, Yuki might need more than what I can immediately provide. I have no idea yeah. what this combo is thing. That's what I was just trying to figure out. I figure since we all took a little damage, I can heal us all. Oh, I think it was the combo for the dancing moogles for five different people? Moogles? No, it was... No, nothing. Never mind. We've got some high potions in the bag. Mm. And two different stacks of cure potions. Yeah, because I'm going to need some healing. I only got 20 points left and I'm out. And your uh, bone warrior's done for the... He's you just, he's just done. To all three of us. Well, I can use harm touch, which is a dark attack, to try and heal him. No, he, he's done. You need 24 hours to, uh, and uh, 900 gil to fix him. Yeah. And when it hits you zero hit points, it turns to dust. Uh, triage. Okay. Triage gives me how many points? 27. And that triage must might have hit him, too, so that, that's even, he's even more dust now. Well, to be fair, I can choose who that hits, but it's still funny that I can heal an undead into death. Huh. 
because yeah, um, triage is when Chisaki has to move from like person to person and do the thing essentially.
yeah, heal 27 and then walk out the potions with the rest of it. Uh, Wadu takes six cure potions out of the bag and starts making Yuki drink them. Here, I'll help! Oh my god, that was loud. <laughs> uh, make a fortitude save, uh, Yuki. He, yeah, he's forced, he's, he's kind of drowning you. Pops all the caps off. Boop. But it hurts so when it's helping. <laughs> Conditional modifier plus one against Wadu help. <laughs> Thank you, Wadu. Well, Just remember to take the caps off on the next round. Okay. Why is the... do we have like an actual handout for Bag of Hole here? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, down party stuff called Loot and Item. Okay, it is that one. Fair enough. Yes. So then I has been moved my mic list before. My mouth. And a little confusing for me. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's I think that awesome. should be better. I still need to work out this incredible clothing thing. Not really something I'm familiar with. But yes, this room looks like it's meant for cutting metal. Hmm. Uh, I will be right back. How big were those two constructs? They're just 12. They were medium sized. Okay. I will add them to the list. Big machine. This room. It's run about metal cutting. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it goes into the next room for the next process, which is one of the rooms that you cannot get into. Room, yeah, to the right. Okay. So there's a connection point, like in this area. Yeah. That it goes through. Okay. Um. Because we're not in the immediate fight. Is this door locked, or is it? That door is locked, but it is in perfect condition too. Okay. So it's got a key card pass thing, is it? Key card or passcode. Okay. Back. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to work out a key card thing. Yeah, I suppose I'm just going to make use of some of the table space while we're here. And, um, is the key card. I don't really know if we have the concept of plastic. 
Like, if we even know what this kind of stuff is. I mean, you could just take the panel off and try to rewire it, too. Yeah. It's just because I'm trying to think what's the... If I could essentially recreate the key card, or if that's a bit beyond. The closest thing you could come up with would be resin. I suppose I don't personally know that much about making cards. So I don't know if you can really just make a copy of them. You know, in a manual sense. Right. I mean, is the card that I've got just a flat card? Or is there any kind of ridging? What's that? It? Is it just a flat card? Like the, you know, the card that I found? Yeah. It's like, okay. the card you found is very brittle, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not something that you can manufacture by hand, then. That is fair enough. I mean, unless we can actually find a working Card creation station, I guess we all did. Who knows, they might have one of those here. Well, no, that's fair enough. I'm just gonna have to, you know, remove the panel and hopefully hot wire it open. We have an alternative that isn't breaking it down, at least. Um, all the device. Cool. Uh, yeah, not bad. Yeah, you're able to unlock the door. Yes. Is it just an empty corridor? Yes, it is an empty corridor. Yeah, sorry. I want to show you respond I just didn't hear it. Okay, we'll, we'll go back there then. No, well, we're going to find an endpoint at some point. Are these stairs going up or down? Those are stairs going down. Even more <laughs> Just does isn't that surprising, but yeah, what's um it's this way first, I suppose. It's really winding on these corridors. Uh, make a perception check on the door. Okay. Can anyone um, do that? Sure. The door looks like any kind of door, but around the edges, it appears to be a little rusty.
Plus, because I can't remember. How was this door blocked off? So I'm assuming that's what the... It, uh, this door looks perfectly fine. No, I mean the door back. I think you there know, was... You the red lines. I think there was rubble and debris. Yeah. I can't remember if they were rusted shut or if they were... It's been a while since I've about it down here. Yeah, they, those were debris. I had a thought with the rust, I suppose there might be water behind it. That's essentially what I was thinking. Um, is it the kind of door I think I could open? Or is it like rusty enough to be? It is a keycard door just like the other one. The pressure lock is engaged on it, though. Just means the DC is a little higher. Yeah. But since you can craft bows, I'm sure you can overcome this quite easy. Yeah, I can craft a whole lot uh, of various things. It is funny how some of the craft skills link up to the various things. All right. Um, I'm just trying to think to close any doors before we... You know in this room, mm -hmm. it was all the mechanical stuff on like benches? Yes. Okay. Um, are we on the top floor, or is that, do we think there's like a floor above us? You are on the base floor, and you're, and uh, the stairs were going down. You haven't found stairs going up yet. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember how we access the space. That is a good question. <laughs> The only reason I'm thinking of it is because if there is water behind it, and it's enough water to flood this entire area, that's not entirely good. You know, good. It's true. Good for us, anyway. Um, we'll come back to it, I suppose. Because the rest thing I'd like just have be wondering. Oh, up the long corridor. Quite a bit of this facility left, maybe. Another finger coating and, uh, uh, keycard one. This ends. No. Okay, well, it's curving back down, so maybe. Okay, I can probably see there's a door there, so whichever. Alright, well, this door at least will hopefully be an actual dead end. That door is unlocked. Okay. gonna be a few. And inside is just supplies, like paper and stuff. Things that you don't normally find in here. Paper that is wrapped in plastic. The plastic is pretty crappy, but uh, the paper is still good. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's been here recently. No, it's just a storage for paper. Yeah, I said they're probably just plastic wrapped it to. Well, we don't know exactly the concept of plastic wrapping, those, but. Um, I suppose looking at the paper, I'd at least have an idea that they preserved it 
somehow with whatever this stuff is that's on it. Yeah, some kind of resiny stuff. Uh, make a perception check in this room. God damn you. Everything <laughs> is always that. Yeah. Well, it's because perception's the most used skill in the game. Uh, you do find uh, some uh, documents in here. Okay. Uh, these documents point out what the facility is and what it does. It's meant for making uh, fuel cylinders for uh, certain machine parts or machina parts. Hmm. And that below, um, on the bottom floor, is where they uh, manufacture the um, the full sets or the full um, part. After up or the floor that you're on, each individual piece is worked on, and everything is assembled on the bottom floor. Okay. Sounds legit. Interesting way to construct your building, I suppose. It would make more sense if it was getting assembled closer to the exit, but. Yeah, I suppose it depends exactly what the building. Uh, that's true. There might be a natural opening somewhere. Uh, shipments arrive to and from via, and it's just it just dots off from there because it's not filled in. Might be like a cave entrance kind of thing, you know, underwater. There's something for like ships or something close to underground. Maybe. Um, yeah, we'll take that bit of paperwork. And I suppose I'll just take some of the regular paper, because it's probably not that normal. You know, the paper that's in the. Crap plastic wrapping, as we're probably. Well, the crap wrapping, I guess, is how we'd term it. Oh, the resiny stuff. Um, yeah, that's. That was an interesting little detour, really. Curious on some of the numbers. It's, uh,. Random generation stuff. Don't worry yeah. about it. What's about? And Not just the numbers on the walls. Just the some of them are quite. No, I ignore the numbers. Because I had the brief moment when I was looking at three and six. It's like, oh, they're quiet. It's like, oh, there's like a forty-seven down there. Okay, it's not quite as straightforward. Is this door locked, or is this one unlocked? The door is uh, pushing outward. Mm. Okay. And it has the same rust around the edges as the other doors did. Is there anything besides rust coming around the edge of the door? No. Just curious if it's like a wet rust or a dry rust. Well... Any rust, any rust is kind of wet. Yeah, based on the other doors being fine, I would have to guess this one's water, but... Oh, you know, it's like rust caused by liquid. But whether there's still, you know, liquid behind it is like the question for the other door as well. Exactly. Like, uh, uh, do we risk flooding ourselves and having to run away, scared? I mean, I'll be fine. I don't know about but why do? Why do we drown? Oh, I wouldn't. He can't swim, so he can't breathe. I can breathe underwater. You can walk the walk, but can you talk the walk? Then I'll be the only one dying of drowning, then. I suppose so. Actually, I suppose Lenny, Lenny is my crown. I'm not sure how... 
how acquainted with water the Ronzo are. Ronzo, like cold mountain. I suppose we're all somewhat acquainted with water. There's so much water. But... Could go bad really, really quickly, though. Yeah. I'd rather not be waterlogged. These appear to be quarters that people may have stayed at at one point. Okay, so there's actual sleeping arrangements. Are there any boxes or anything around? Like storage boxes for like their foot lockers or something? Yeah, there's lots of them. Right. But that right. gale doesn't do you any good. Oh, okay. What are you? What are you looking for? No, I was just seeing if there was any like boxes that looked like somebody might have left something in there. No, no, they're they're all like uh, you no, know, they're just like all like lockers next to bunks and stuff. You know, there mm -hmm. might be something, but probably not. Big. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking. Dolls. I'm assuming that doll's a lot of that if I be give reveal the card all the Yeah, I expect there's probably nothing but maybe a spider to jump out the box and try to kill me. Question is whether or not it's worth it to fight the spider for. <laughs> it really isn't in my book. Do you find it funny that you've already resigned yourself to fighting the spider? I don't like spiders, so. The door <laughs> is locked. Is this one rusted at all? Or is it... No. Hmm. Um, yeah, why not? Well, we, is it another key card? A key card finger thing, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's open it over. Uh, Alright. Did he just get really quiet all of them for you guys, too? Or something? Something. I hear a little... I was about to say, do we need me or kill? Can you hear me? Yeah, there's uh... I think I can hear something going on with the mic, though. Uh-oh, what do you hear? There's like a... little crackling at the end. How about now? You hear me now? Better? Better? Are you just saying that? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, you've been... You're mostly legible. Like, the crackling isn't, you know, cutting into what you're saying or anything. Yeah. I think it was just happening at the end a lot. Oh, what the heck. Yeah, it's kind of like the microphone turning off, I guess. Possibly. However that works. It's a bunch of shit. It may just be kicking on and off. Testing. The light. It may just be kicking on and off. Testing. The light. I don't hear it. Huh. Okay. Testing. Oh well. Let's move on. I don't hear it. That's very on and off for me. So. Um. Okay. We've been sticking with the left doors up on. Although this door is straight on. Semantics of that aside. It is unlocked. Upon passing through, you do start to feel some humidity. Seem like there's some water trapped in the building. 
how much exactly is a whole other question. But... Uh, the door, um, you can see that there is rust on the bottom only. Does rust on the bottom of this door means it's not like if there is water it's not as high here, probably. Probably. Um. Yeah, just like this go for it. So I suppose it tests the Test the hype. Test the theory, that's the word. If the door will even open, I suppose, is the other question. Alright, one second. Water starts uh, coming out. Of course. Is it quite a low thing? Or... Everybody make a fortitude save. Why do you say that? I only rolled a 14. I'm curious how you fall, dude, so uh what? Yuki, take 13 points of acid damage. <laughs> Everybody else take four points of acid damage. This is apparently not water. <laughs> Do you get out of it, or do you continue standing in it? Yeah, I, I imagine we pull back out. Is it just like a pool that, that you know was formed in that? Yeah, yeah, it looks like something uh, was leaking at some time, and there is water mixed in with it. Yeah, yeah that's is that as far as it's gone, essentially. It's just a pool of water acid. Yeah. Okay. But the floor is, seems like it's keeping it at bay from going any further. Fair enough. Well, but it's a good thing we didn't open the one that was really rusted then. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, it might have just... Yeah, you know, it might have been more than water. <laughs> And we'll, we'll come back to it. You know, we need to. And we don't have any other options of where to go. After this long hallway, you see a pile of acid. Yeah, okay. And yeah, I suppose getting to that one. See, it's the room that we could see before, so. Fair enough. I should put a treasure chest in there, just to see if you'll go through it again. I mean, we might have to go through it, you know, in the end, so... But for now, at least, we're gonna... We're probably gonna back up and try safer... Safer rooms out. No, can't no more than try. I don't know if that's the real church chest or if that's just for the life. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in this room or. Uh, nothing really to mention in this room. 
This door is uh, locked and it seems to be protruding as well. Okay. This has certainly been an adventure through quite a quite a large facility. Um Because the question now is do we back up or are we gonna try some of these bulging doors? Yeah. You still have the basement to check out, too. Yeah, what do you two think? Because Chisaki doesn't mind just wandering through here. It's quite interesting. You know, a bit of technology. I think... I think we can uh, explore this far. Start yeah. going down. Yeah, I think we can just wander around a little bit, and then we can always go down. Well, there's not too much more exploring around, I mean. You pretty much discovered it all. Right, that was a bulge thing. Everything else is just, uh... Protruding doors if you really want to open, or doors that are really rusty. I'm trying to think what doors are left that we didn't check, check. I guess it's these I think two. these. Yes. This one. And then it's downstairs. Yeah. Alright, give me an uh an open check. What kind of check is that? Disable device. Okay. Yeah, it's the thing that I do. Thing that I'm better really good at. <laughs> it's opening stuff. There's lots of rocks in here. Or, uh, not rocks, but floor above you. Uh, the, the things like collapsed in. Yeah. Everything. There's even a robot in here just stuttering to uh, try to attack you, but it can't. You will not get the XP for putting it down. I mean, you might put it down anyway. Could actually salvage something useful out of it. I was gonna say, maybe you could turn the alarm off or something with it. Yeah, I suppose I can have a look. It's an interesting enough thing to, you know, test essentially. They're already attacking us. We can't no more than make them attack. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I'm gonna spend some time with this this broken robot. Just see if it's like a, a receive only or if it can send. Uh give me uh engineering. Or is that your uh bow too? Um not engineering. There it is. Quite as good at knowing. Doesn't really seem to have a receiver. Hmm. Hmm. And it's one of the busted units, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious how it picked up the order then. Or how all that works. Um, yeah, right, I suppose I'll just power it down, essentially. You take out its stir cell batteries, and it just flops down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just add it to the pile of things to take useful parts out of when we leave. Um, what size is the construct? It is small. Okay. I don't know about it being damaged in case that makes a difference. Okay. Um, what's going on with this door? I can't remember if that's locked or if it's bulging. Nope, it is just locked. Okay. 
It says danger, uh, high voltage. Mm. Inside. I will have to assume that they did not wire the door. <laughs> That'd be fairly interesting design choice. Inside appears to be the power room. A bunch of uh, uh, lightning elementals appear to be inside, and half-crushed elementals remain. They just have the shard dust of what they used to be. Um, what? What exactly are they? Like elementals. Lightning elementals, are they? lightning elementals. Is it like a little floating rock? It's, it's like an element. Tool. It's because I'm. I know some of the art for the elementals always makes me wonder exactly what they are. <laughs> it's like this, but thunder. Mm. It's like it has a core, and this lightning is all around it. Okay. Oh wait, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, it is. And they're just in, like, glass containers, and every time uh, they spin around, um, some lightning hits some wires, and they uh, give some power to it. A bunch of them are empty, and there's just remains of elementals on the ground. But there appears to be a few left. Yeah. We know where the place is getting power now. Oh, well, one of the places. Um, are elementals like a living creature in this context, or are they...? Yes, no. Okay. Fair enough. Because there's no reason to do it currently. Um, yeah, I think we're done on this floor, short of, you know, checking out the bulging and rusted doors. Whether that ends up being water or acid, you know, I guess we'll find. We could find out, but there's also another floor we can check. Oh, and I guess we could also have a run through that that acid pool to see what's on the other side of there. But where are you going first? Do you think there's a way we could just uh, avoid getting injured from the acid pool? We could try um, jumping. Hello. 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 Can I get out? You, Not everything is solved by jumping. I mean, you might not be able to jump. I need an NPC in this party, just so I can talk back. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to get over some of it that way, but... I uh, really want, like, acid-proof boots, I suppose. Or acid resistant, because I suppose proof is a... Or just foot above it. A difficult milestone. Yeah. And have the rooms all been like blank metal walls, essentially. The, so sure the, the rooms that uh you've been to, the, the new the nice rooms are all like clean and everything, while the other rooms that have been damaged over time have taken their wear. There's just the basement left to check, and, uh, other places you've ever been to. Yeah. Well, you might theoretically be able to climb around some of it then, but... Probably won't get you very far. Be quite a bit of work. Yeah, but yeah, I'm if, just if we don't want to do it right now, we can, we can go downstairs. <laughs> Alright, yeah. you heading downstairs then? Try jumping it. 
you start heading downstairs and you're going down for quite some time actually going around oh. going around in circles on like a uh, one of those skeleton um, staircases metal staircases and uh, about 10 floors down you get to the base and down here you see that uh, machines are constructing something actively or previously actively yeah hmm. and it seems like it's almost complete Um, what is it, I guess is the question. Like, is it some kind of humanoid construction they're making, or is it a... more of a vehicle? It's a... It's an Ono. I guess this map will have to do. Huh? No, it's too small. Give me one second. Time's up. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check of the area while you're here. Is the metal staircase one of those staircases we could have seen this thing from? Or is it like the... Is there like walls around it? I'm not sure. There's partial wa walls around it. Okay. Um, down here, you notice that uh, there are rails going into the distance and going into a hole in the wall, and these rails look shiny and new. Mm -hmm. Rails going from what, sir? Uh, it looks like uh, whatever they build, they put onto like uh, looks some kind of contraption. And this contraption sails along the rails going to another location. Okay. Yeah, there is an, an underground like, transport thing. Okay. Uh, the reason I was curious with the staircase is... Um, you know, if it if we think it's like a, a giant hostile, you know, construction, then we probably won't get all the way to the bottom of the stairs before we back up. Probably. No, no, you 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 are able to get down to the bottom of the stairs before things recognize you. Yeah, it was basically, um, I imagined if we could see, you know, like Godzilla, for example, from the staircase, we probably wouldn't bother going to the bottom of the stairs. And it's like, okay, let's, let's turn around, come back a little bit back to that. That's why I won't show what it was. Like, if we even think it would be dangerous, or if it's you just a... Well, as you're just looking at this, you see the crane holding this monstrosity thing, and it's slowly coming closer and closer to you. <laughs> uh, 
the hell's the music? I mean, yeah, I suppose if we're going to back up, we want to back up now, then. And then it drops it. But yes, if you wish to run, you may do so now, but this looks like the location you need to be. But, in case you don't, Yeah, the only reason I'm thinking about the back of this was we're like half out people, people down. Yeah, we should probably uh, approach this with our party. So you wish to wait until you have a party of four? Probably would be a good idea. Why would I die? As you turn around, you see a globe standing before you and it's circling. You can save your progress here. What's what there is, then what? What? Oh. Okay. Can we use it to go play Blitzball yet? No, you can't play Blitzball yet. Uh. We had a campaign for that and you guys destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was here. Blitzball. Uh. Yeah, I suppose we have looked through quite a bit of space. Uh, I don't know if saving means ending the session here, but I'd be alright with that, to be honest. What we go with. I will give you your EXP. You are close to leveling up. I hope you've figured out what your uh, custom limit breaks are going to be soon. Oh, God, we are close to leveling up. Jeez. Here's your XP for the day. I just... I haven't even thought of one for Wado. I thought he'd be out of the party by now. But we like Wado. Oh, thank you! <laughs> yeah. Might have continued if, um, you know, even one more of us was here, but... And we've only three of the five, I think it's supposed to be. Yeah, Max or Linnaeus would tip it. And here's your XP. We will continue in uh, two weeks with a boss fight and a trials. And maybe you'll get the other party members in after that. Yeah, it's not even going to be five by after the rest of them come back. Uh. Alrighty. Thank you all for uh, today. I'm sorry it is a short session. I, I'll do a replay of another session. Uh, we'll talk to you later and uh, have a good night.
Thank you.